Hey everyone, Elena Besser here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you are new here, click that subscribe button for new videos every Wednesday. And if you're excited to learn all about my Duke basketball dinner experience, throw this video a thumbs up. Okay, so I am one of five. I have two older sisters, me, a younger sister, and a younger brother. And my little brother, Brennan, What's up guys, it's Brennan. Is a senior at Duke and he plays on the basketball team there. So I was there the other week for his senior night, which was his last home game, and he made a little speech. Of on camera, you look beautiful tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause. It was very sweet. And I decided to stay the next day to cook dinner for him and his teammates as a celebratory bon voyage dinner experience. So I took over his whole apartment with the help of my mom, Rebecca. Shout out, Rebecca. Thanks for the help. Rebecca's picking herbs like a good herb intern. Picker. And I started things off with a cheese and charcuterie board for them to munch on upon arrival. I decided to make a hot dog bar for him and his teammates. I wanted to do a food that they all know and love, but give it an elevated culinary twist. You are an extreme talent. This is beautiful. I'm so hungry. I can't wait. I created five different hot dogs and named some of them after a few Duke-related things, starting with the B-53. This is B-53. And that was a classic Chicago dog. Because we're from Chicago, so you know, gotta throw that in there. It's the quintessential hot dog. Next, I did the Antonio dog. Antonio is Brennan's roommate and the other senior that's graduating. He's really become like another little brother to me. And I wanted to do a spin on a classic Reuben sandwich. So I did a sriracha Russian dressing as the base, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and a caraway dust to emulate rye bread on a Reuben sandwich. The next hot dog I did was a miso bacon hot dog. I made a white miso aioli a thick cut slab of bacon, watermelon radish, black sesame seeds, some nori julienne, and I finished it all off with some fresh herbs. What is just an explosion of flavor in my mouth right now? That one surprisingly ended up being the one that most people ordered. The miso bacon brought to you by my lovely sister Elena. It's incredible. Incredible. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Truly incredible. Then I did a crazy, crazy hot dog that was a loaded baked potato dog. So instead of a bun, I used an entire baked potato, put the hot dog in it, covered it in some homemade cheese sauce, sour cream scallions, and some bacon bits. That one was a hit. J-Rob loved that one. Shout out J-Rob. I'm about to get a baked potato Ooh. dog. So how are you feeling about this? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm nervous. Uh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> and finally, I did a Shooter's Dog. Shooter's is the bar that everyone at Duke goes to, if they're of age, of course. And that one was a take on a classic buffalo wing. So I took the hot dog, coated it in buffalo sauce, served it with a lemony ranch, a celery salad, some celery leaves on top, and if there wasn't enough celery, I added some more celery salt. Buffalo. Shooter's dog. No time for air. No time. Happy play club. I told the boys that they could create their own hot dog if they wanted to. They didn't have to order off the menu. And that is when the slat dog was born. You just you guys the slat dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they got buffalo sauce, miso sauce, cheddar cheese, bacon bits, right. all that good stuff. Slat. <laughs> I had no idea what slat meant, but of course the boys made sure to tell me. It means slime love all the time. And I also didn't know what slime meant. Slime also stands for street life intelligence and money is everything. Or it could also mean pal, my homie, my friend. So, of course, Gunna and Young Thug like calling each other slat. And of course, that is what Jordan Goldwire decided to name his specialty hot dog. Kicking it with Duke Blue Planet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, RJ and Zion came a little bit later, but guess what they ordered? The Slat Dog. 
Yeah. That's just, bro, I already know it's about to be good. <laughs> We finish everything off with my classic chocolate chip cookie, which if you want to make, you can click this video right here and make them yourself. Hey, what you think about that cookie? I mean, I don't got no word for this cookie. Is it immaculate? Immaculate. Incredible. Brennan was really funny because he while everyone was there, decided to put my best thing I ever ate episodes on the TV. So they were all eating the food and watching my segments. It was a very cute experience. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Overall, it was such a great night. What a serious success. Thank you so much to the boys and specifically my brother for letting me cook for them. And best of luck to them on the rest of this season. We have ACC coming up this week, so they better get it. I believe in them. I know you guys believe in them. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page for new videos every Wednesday. My name is Elena Besser. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.